Hey, my name's Zach, and I wanted to show you how to put a binocular effect in Final Cut Pro. This is a really good thing to know how to do because, let's say you have somebody with binoculars up to their eyes. This makes a really good cut shot, so I'll show you how to do it now. I have my video here, and I actually made this in Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is actually drag and drop that here and I can extend it the entire length of my video. Now, in order to make this look like it's actually moving around, like you're actually surveying the area, what we're going to do is double-click this file here, go to Motion, then we're going to come over here and you're going to hit this little diamond. This is a keyframe. So we'll hit the keyframe, and we'll go about two seconds. And let's do three, actually. And we'll hit keyframe again. Now that we are on this keyframe here, that's where the video is going to end up. So what we're going to do is click and drag this video how we want it to be, like so. Now, all I would do is move over one frame, insert another keyframe, and then go another three or four seconds. And then you can move your video around again. And let's say he wants to zoom in next. So what we'll do is move one more frame. Put another keyframe, double click here again, go to motion, shift, go over, let's say five seconds. We'll do another keyframe and we'll move it around again. And we can add a zoom effect. Let's go 130. Now I'm going to drag this out and just delete the end. And now we can see what I have with my binocular effect. Now, it's definitely going to need a little bit of adjustment, but that comes with the territory of keyframes. So, just keep trying and tweaking them there left and right, and you should be all set. My name's Zach, and I just showed you how to do a binocular effect in Final Cut Pro. Thanks for watching.